Hello, Robert. Good evening, ladies. Hello, girls. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Dad. You come together tonight? Oh, no. Just a lucky coincidence. <laughs> well, hello, Mom. Hello, girls. Hi, Grandma. Just go about your drinks. I'm just here to sit with the dog. The dog? Oh, he's cute. When did you get a dog? She's not our dog. I'm no less confused. And it's a he. The dog? The dog is a boy. I thought you said it was a girl. I got another peek. It was rolling around on its back, and it was painfully obvious. They're so hairy down there. This one especially. It's going from weird to weirder. The usual beverage for everybody? So he's not your dog? It just showed up in our yard yesterday morning. We have no idea how it got here, where it came from. It has no tags. It is a very big mystery, this dog. Oh, now I'm monopolizing things, and I'm not even here. Please, go about your drinks. No, no, I'm having Robert make one up for you as well. Are you sure? Because I'm not officially here. Absolutely. Thank you, Richard. Mm -hmm. So how long are you going to keep him? As long as it takes to find the owners. Richard had to miss a half day of work yesterday. But Emily has agreed to write a note excusing my absence, so it should be OK. OK, now pretend I'm not here. You girls and I can chat later. OK. <laughs> well, um, Rory, oh my god. Did I tell you about the horrendous thing that Mom did? She can be <laughs> such a witch with a B. <laughs> Lorelai. Oh, geez, Mom, I forgot you were there. My pretending is that good. We can't really pretend you're not here, Grandma. That's true, Emily. You have a presence that cannot be ignored. Oh, well, fine. I can leave. No, no, the dog likes you there. Join in the conversation, if you wish. Well, I am curious to know when you girls got the bad news today. What bad news? Christopher's news. What about him? You haven't heard? Nothing. Lorelai? Same here. Well, that's odd. I would have thought he would have called them right away. One of them, at least. Guys, what news? You're making me nervous here. Strobe died. Christopher's father died? This morning. Oh, my God, how? Well, he'd been sick. Very badly. He'd been diagnosed just a month ago, but it had already spread. He was the picture of health, so it caught poor Francine completely off guard, that poor woman. I can't believe Chris didn't tell us. He may not have been in any shape to think straight. Did you check all your voicemails? Yeah. Yeah, I did. It's terrible having more than one answering service. That's the way you miss things. Well, I mean, we should send something, right? For the funeral? Does he want us to go? He was very quiet on the phone. He was only good for the headlines. Well, you can't blame him. He had a very tortured relationship with that man, but none of that matters at the end. We should send them a card or, or flowers. We should send flowers. <gasps> Everything sounds so lame. Well, whatever it is, send it to Francine. Christopher and the baby are staying with her until all of this is behind them. I'll give you the address before you go. We'll send something together, Emily? I've already signed your name to some flowers. Oh! He moved. Is it supposed to do that? Oh, Emily, let me show you how he likes his blanket arranged. He's a bit picky. I'd appreciate your help. Poor Chris. I mean, it's so sudden. Yeah. Did you even know his dad was sick? Well, kind of. You knew? Dad told me. When did he tell you? He didn't make it sound like it was a big thing, like he was that sick. And with Sherry gone and the baby? Yikes. Yeah. Yikes. Like this. The bump acts as a kind of pillow. Very clever. There's a dog hair in your drink. I'll have Robert make you another one. Uh, oh, that's OK. No, no, no. I insist. Robert, we need dog hair removal. 